Hello and welcome to my reality Jeep life with me, the Vermont Jeep Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. I am very excited today. I just received the axle shaft kit from CSE Off-Road who sent out the Alloy USA axle kit. I am super psyched for Old Blue. And we're gonna get her done today and we're gonna be able to head out to Gear Jam down at Meadowy Off-Road Extreme Park today. Today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be installing an Alloy USA Dana 35 axle shaft kit into my Jeep known as Old Blue. Old Blue broke her axle shaft on the driver's side when I was down in Munson, Massachusetts at the Gotopolis Day. We finagled her back together, we added on a piece of wood and we strapped it to her bumper and to her rock sliders and I was able to get her out of the woods and from there I was able to flat bed her home. So she has been waiting for this axle kit and today we are going to install it. I'd like to talk a little bit about this Alloy USA axle kit that I'm going to be using. This particular kit uses high strength 4140 chrome molly in all its Jeep's axles. Alloy USA axles are heat treated twice and induction hardened to produce this heavy duty axle that are 35% stronger than stock 1040 axles. Alloy USA uses the latest cold spline rolling technology to produce splines that are stronger than traditional cut splines. Alloy USA axle shafts are covered by an exclusive 10 year warranty. Rear axle kits such as the one that I'm using here in Old Blue gives you everything that you're going to need for your installation. Both passenger side and driver side shafts, seals, bearings, and wheel studs. This is a nice kit and I am going to install it right now in Old Blue. So come on over here and join me. Okay, we're about to begin the process of changing out the old axle shafts the axle seals and the axle bearings. The Alloy USA kit comes with brand new seals, bearings, and wheel studs. Now I have already removed my broken axle shaft as you can see here. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my old axle seal in the end of the shaft and to do that I'm going to use my seal puller. the old seal. The next thing that we're going to need to remove will be the bearing that's in the end of this axle tube. First I'm going to spray a little bit of brake cleaner in there to try to get rid of some of the gear oil. Okay, what I've done is I've pulled out the old bearings and the old seals and cleaned out the inner tubes. I've sprayed some uh, brake cleaner in there and dragged the, the rag through it. What I did right now is I added some grease to my new bearings and I'm ready to put them in. is set in there. I'm going to put the seal in. Pound it in there the same way. I do 
doing right now is I'm going to slide my first axle shaft in. And when you do this, you want to be really careful that you don't pop any of your seals out, especially when you get down here. again. That's right, I got her USA alloy axles, the heavy duty ones from CSE offroad.coms put in and we're out on the trail right now testing her out. This is her first big oh, technical feed here coming down the sledge and then I will climb back up again. Old Blue is happy to be back on the trail again. We're just having fun in the woods today and we're out here before the storm hits. <laughs> here comes old Bruce, maiden voyage, the first time climbing down a rock ledge with her brand new axles from USA Alloy. I would like to thank our sponsor, CSE Off-Road. CSE Off-Road is committed to providing you with the best, most affordable parts for your Jeep. They also offer parts and accessories for popular truck models too. Check them out at cseoffroad.com. At the checkout, enter Jeep Girl in the promotional code box and receive an additional 5% off. All orders over $50 ship free in the continental U.S. Thanks for watching and happy trails!